Okay. All right. Welcome to our, I guess it's Wednesday. I feel like it's a weird week because of the holiday. Um, Wednesday team call. I'm super excited to have Candace with us tonight. I met Candace because she um, was a market council member in Boston and we kind of connected that way. It's been really fun getting to know her. And if you don't follow her, you should start. Um, she did an amazing wake up call on free groups and she's in the shift shop test group and yeah, she's getting some killer results. So I'm sure you can ask her some questions about that tonight too. She's a 12 star diamond, three time elite mom of three. I think her, is your youngest younger than one still? Like she's come 10 months. Yep. 10 months. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, I feel like you had her around summit last year. Yep. Um, success club five legend and founder of fit mama Inc. And she's going to talk to us tonight about Failing forward, um, if you guys, I don't know who that is. I'm just going to mute, if you guys can just mute yourselves. Um, get your notes out, get your books ready, and I'm going to let Candace take over. All right. Thank you so much for inviting me on tonight. I absolutely love talking about this topic because there is never going to be a moment of smooth sailing in your business where you go, oh my gosh. I finally made it to the point where I never have a hiccup in my business. That's like, you need to embrace that. But learning to embrace that is a journey in itself. So that's why I love talking about failing forward. So I'll give you guys a little bit of backstory on myself. Um, so I started the business in December, 2012, um, had no intentions on coaching. I just wanted a discount on my shake. And it just kind of snowballed. I, I got the bug and I realized that instead of going to bartend on the weekend, making, you know, crap money, I could sell some challenge packs and, you know, drink a free shake and feel good about myself. So, um, I started sharing my journey with my friends and, um, one day I went into the bar that I worked at and I was in pretty good shape and somebody was like, wow, you're a fit mama, you're a fit mama. And that, that was it. It was, I was like, well, I guess that's my team. It's fit mama. So um, anyway, I, I turned diamond and gosh, I think it took me five months, six months to one star, I about 10 months to two star, maybe like two years to five star. Um, and last year I turned 12 star. So, um, but guys, it is not, it has not been easy whatsoever. And, you know, this whole call came about when I turned five star, when I went to leadership in, um, it was October of 2014. I'm sorry. September or October of 2014. At that time, to get to the leadership event, you needed to be a two-star. Five-star. So I was really excited. I was there to turn five-star. The day I was there it was like it was like this beautiful thing. I'm like, I turned five-star, and I got added to the wall, and I met Jeff Hill, and you know everything was just amazing. And that month, I did not hit Success Club. And I was like, wait a minute. It was like somebody had just burst my bubble. So here I am like on the wall and, you know, I'm like now amongst all of these names and I'm, I have this team and I can't hit success club. And I'm like, how am I this leader trying to teach people to hit success club? And I'm not even hitting it myself. So I was in the toilet. Like my head was in the toilet. I was not in a good place. Um, and I, you know, talked to my mentor at corporate because what's great is once you hit the star diamond ranks, you get a mentor from corporate and you get to talk to them because you know, guys, what's funny is like in the beginning, when you start coaching, you have your sponsor, you know, but sometimes you move past your sponsor and you need more. So what happened was I reached out to corporate. Hey, Solowinski, mute your uh, computer. <laughs> um, anyway, so you have a mentor from corporate. So I, I reached out to her and I was like, listen, I need help. I'm like, I am just not doing well. Like I, 
like I'm a five star and I can't even hit success club, blah, blah, blah. She's like, all right, well, let's talk about that. Um, how's, you know, are you doing a program? I'm like, yes, blah, blah, blah. She's like, how's your inviting? I'm like, my inviting's terrible. She's like, okay, why? I have literally been that type of coach. And I know, no, not everybody's like this, but I was kind of that type of coach that like, I had a lot of people just coming to me and I got really comfortable getting to where I was in my business based on just casual conversation. I know that might annoy a lot of you be like, oh, really? You just hit success club and turned five star naturally. Well, I didn't kill myself. I really didn't. Um, but the compound effect kicked me in the nuts because when you're not reaching out to people, eventually it's going to catch up with you. You know, when they say like, I tapped out my warm market, like that kind of happened. So she was like, all right, Candace, well, listen, we need to just get back to basics here. So let's, you know, we're going to, I'm going to give you some, some tactics here. So this is really perfect right now, guys, because it's May 31st. Hopefully everybody on this call has hit success club. But uh, if you haven't, this is the perfect call for this because we are failing forward. So um, I want to give you some steps on how to fail forward in the following month because seriously guys I'm gonna tough love you right now and you might hate it you might love it but if you don't hit success club it is your fault okay it's not your aunt's you know fault because her computer didn't work it's not your neighbor down the street because he lost his ATM card it's not you know it's not anyone's fault but yours, okay? If you didn't hit, you didn't reach out to enough people, you just didn't, okay? So, um, but let me backpedal a little bit because I also want to say this. There's going to be some months you're going to hit it and it's going to be like, and there's going to be other months you're going to be clarin' and scraping for five, okay? So let's just get that out there. All right, so here we go, guys. Number one. Make a list of 25 people. For whatever reason, they stick out in your mind, write their name down, okay? Go through your Facebook friends list. Just start writing names down, 25 names, okay? Number two, go back into your old Facebook messages. If you've been a coach for two years, you go back two years and you sit there and you take some dedicated time, don't overdo it, but take about a good hour to go back into your Facebook friends list, I'm sorry, Facebook messages, and see, because you know what? We're busy, and sometimes as coaches, we just forget to write names down. So maybe you don't have a 10 in playlist. Um, I recommend either a, a paper, like this is like my book, okay? So if you get a book, use that book. Or if you have the notes section on your phone, put, you know, I have tons of notes. I have like a UK list. Hold on a second. This is the, don't be too impressed. I'm not that organized, but. Um, so I have a, a, a list of follow-ups like copy paste follow-ups. I have, you know, UK list of people I'm friends with. I have copy paste scripts. I have, what else do I have? You know, Instagram notes, whatever. Anyway, this is, it's all right here. It's like one place you keep everything. Okay. So go back into there, find people that you forgot about, write their name down, keep adding them to the list. Number three. Check the coach online office database. Do you have people that are on success, um, on success club, people that are on HD? Do you have people that bought like a free trial? That, that you'll be like, oh my God, I can reach out to that person and tell her about all access. I can reach out to that person and tell them about this new challenge pack coming out, the $130 one, because they have all access. Now they can get the containers and the shakes, okay? So you can think about all these ways that you can reach out. You know, maybe... Joe Schmo, you know, has, has been on HD and wants to buy a challenge pack because now he actually saves money on his shake by buying a challenge pack. So there's different ways. Look at these people, see what they've done, and think about how you can address them according to what they're on, okay? Number four, if you've done a challenge group via the, well, you should, the Challenge Tracker app, 
send out a message blast. If you guys don't know how to do that, figure it out. It's pretty awesome. You just go into all of your participants, okay? And you can just send a message right there. So go and fiddle around with that. Um, do, 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 do. The next thing, which is new, um, message and comment all of your likes. Okay, I added three onto this recently. See, changing with the times. All right, message and comment, message, private message all your comments and likes. Hey, thank you so much for the love. It's so nice to see your face. Like, are you on a health and fitness journey too? Like, start conversations with people. It's a relationship business. Can I have conversations? Can't hide in your shell. Um, number five, go live. Talk about objections. I went live once about um, how people will message me for help and then they'll be like, okay, cool. Well, what if I don't want to do the Shakeology? I'm like, but wait, you just asked me for help, but now you want to piecemeal and make your own plan? Like, this is my recipe for what I do. So I did a video on that and I sold a challenge pack, like within 15 minutes that I finished the video. Guys, going live, please, if there are people on here that are not going live, like start doing that ASAP because like pictures and, you know, posting on Facebook, like that's cool, but that's almost like very 2015. Like we need to like, we need to change with the times. We need to be the Madonna of Beachbody and change with the times. So if people are going live, you got to go live. You can't just like stick to what we did three years ago. Things are always going to change and we need to change with the times. Okay. So go live, talk about an objection and don't be too long either. Like if you go live five minutes tops. Okay. Um, six, Instagram. For those of you that feel like you have not mastered Facebook, I don't recommend you now go into Instagram. I recommend mastering Facebook, then go and master Instagram. Okay. It's good to be, it's not good to be the jack of all trades and the master of nothing. So if you're like, oh, I'm on Pinterest, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on you know, Snapchat, that's not good because you're not perfecting that social media platform. Okay. Perfect your Facebook. Now, for those of you that have perfected Facebook, once you get to Instagram, Instagram is so much fun guys. So the thing that's great about that is we've got a fresh, we've got fresh new blood on there, young blood that is going to be coming into the beach body world, okay? They're still a little young for it, but they're coming into it. So what I do is I direct message all of my people that like my, my posts and I start conversation. And since I did that, I have been, and my, my success club points have cranked up the last couple months. I think I was at 14 last month and I'm at 24 this month. So it's really, I, I just absolutely am obsessed with Instagram. It's a lot of work. Okay. Um, I can go into Instagram a little bit if you guys want to hear some of my tips on that. Um, so let's see, let me see what else they have here. Um, wow, that timed out perfect. Huh? Someone talking to me? <laughs> anyway, um, let me see here. All right. Another thing that you can do is you can set up a Facebook event or and, and invite people to it. Like, let them know via private message that you're having a group, invite them to the event, and then pepper the event page with information like, you know, every day post about what's going to be going on in that group, talk about, you know, the different shake options, the different challenge pack options, share testimonials from your challengers. And, and what's cool is you can message people in your event as a whole. So you can like message everyone and say, Hey, thank you so much for, you know, being part of this event page. Like, what do you think about everything? All right. Something like that. Always ask a question. Never say, let me know. If you say, let me know, you'll never hear from them again. And then when you want to follow up with them, you're like the most awkward person in the world because you said, let me know. And now here you are. You're like, Hey, all right. So 
Guys, those are my failing forward tips. But before we go into questions, it's 915. Um, and if you guys want to talk about Instagram, we can do that too, because that's a, that's a nice way to fail forward and, and take in some more cold market people. So let's share my screen. All right. I am obsessed with this. I'm going to blow you guys away right now. All right. Ready? Check this out. Guys, does your business seem slow? Are you sticking to your daily schedule? Are you sticking to one workout program? Are you documenting your journey daily on Facebook? Are you commenting back to everyone who comments on your posts? Friending everyone who likes your posts? Welcoming new people to your like page? Following up with everyone who has expressed interest in the past few months? doing live videos daily, posting ads and invites on both pages, posting in your event daily, checking in with challengers weekly, posting about the coaching opportunity weekly. All right. So were your wheels turning a little bit? Were you like, hmm, I didn't do everything I could have done this month to hit Success Club? All right. So that's the thing, guys, is like, and this isn't to like shame anybody. I mean, this is a, um, this is a growing, this is a journey. Okay. I literally was sitting at five star diamond. I'm a 12 star sitting at five star from like November until early April. If that's not a kick in the teeth, I don't know what is. Okay. But I work really hard and I did a lot of personal development Make sure you guys uh, download the book Failing Forward, by the way, by John Maxwell. Um, I did a lot of personal development. I shed a lot of tears. But the thing is, guys, is in order to succeed in this business, you need to get over it real fast. Like, have a moment because you're a human being that, you know, you, you sucked or you dropped or whatever. Like, have a moment and move on because the worst thing you can do is dwell on the fact that you missed a goal. You just have to keep going, all right? I mean, if I just kept dwelling, I, I wouldn't be, I'm sitting at 10 right now, which I'm, I'm pumped about, but we're gonna keep going. You know, I'm not gonna dwell on all the months that I've missed, but I'm just gonna keep going, keep working with my leaders, keep bringing on new leaders, all right? Now, does anybody have any questions? You can unmute yourself and ask a question. Um, I'm an open book. If anyone has anything you guys, does anyone want to hear about Candace? What's like your forte on Instagram? Like, what do you? Okay. So Instagram, hold on one sec. Let me open up my notes <clears throat> in my phone. All right. So here's the thing with Instagram guys. Um, let me pull this up just so I make sure I hit all the points. All right. So with Instagram, you got to make sure that your page looks like a magazine. So you're using all the same filters for every photo. So pick a filter you love, use the same filter for every photo. Okay. Um, there should be some kind of theme. There's a page called, what is it called? Hold on a second. Anyway, if you find some like travel pages, like IG travel pages, when you see them, you'll go, oh, I know exactly what Candace is talking about. Um, there's one, if I can find it. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll see if I can find it. But anyway, so guys, here's the thing with Instagram. You cannot put your hashtags in the body of your post. So if you're posting on Instagram, okay, and you're like, oh, I had a great lunch today, blah, 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 hashtag yummy lunch. You can't put hashtag yummy lunch in the, the comment, I mean, in the, um, the blurb. Do you guys know what I mean? Like in the body of the post, you have to do the post, okay? Then you go in and you comment on your own post as you, you comment with the hashtags, you are allowed 30 hashtags. Don't post less than 30. It's like someone, you know, it's like 
inviting people to a challenge group. You're only going to talk to five people or are you going to talk to 30 people? No, you're going to talk to 30 people. That's 30 mm -hmm. fish hooks to bring people into your page. Okay. So you get hey, this real quick. Have you heard about that shadow banning? Thing? <laughs> I just asked the same thing. Yeah. Can you talk about the shadow banning? Cause when, cause I was posting in comments and then I got shadow banned. So I stopped. What does that mean? So shadow banned is when Instagram no longer puts your stuff in the hashtag feed. They only put it in the feed of the people that follow you. So I was getting a lot less likes. I'll send you the info. Um, um, but they, it, it's like a brand new thing. Um, I'll send you, Jen Richardson did a video on it. Yeah, I'd love to know because I don't know anything about that. Yeah, I'm going to send you it because I was doing the exact same thing that you are, but I stopped because of the shadow banning. I'm going to, I'm going to send it over to you now, but just, um, that's interesting. Cause all I know is that, you know, 30 hashtags, two days later, you can delete your hashtags and you can post 30 new hashtags. So you technically can have 60 hashtags per post. I don't think they're allowing that anymore. I'm going to send this video to you. So yeah, I want to see it. Yeah. Um, and I'll post it on our team page guys. Yeah. I would love to see that. So, um, so with that, all those com all those new followers, likes, I just message them and I'll say, you know, thank you so much for the follow. Are you on a health and fitness journey too? Thank you so much for the love. Are you on a health and fitness journey too? I have another. Um, oh, and the other thing too is as far as your hashtags go, you should be posting your hashtags according to your audience not like like so i always post mummy things because i want to pull those are the people i want to pull in so you know even if it's like food i don't put tons of food hashtags i don't want like food people i want mom people okay um so i mean that's all i have for instagram and if that if you're telling me that that's now changed that's pretty much all i get yeah the they Similar to Facebook's algorithm changing, they changed yeah. Instagrams. I just sent it over to you. You can watch the video and let me know what you think. But, um, it, and then there's like a site you can check and see if you're shadow banned. I have to find that site too. Oh, here you go. Jennifer just posted. Jennifer, is that how you check and see if you're shadow banned? I don't know if she's on mute. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, That's no, how you check and see. And you may not be, in which case you're fine, but. Um, yeah, this, the website I posted in the chat, that's actually the shadow ban, and it, you put in your username and you hit enter, and it will tell you whether or not you're banned. And if it can't tell from a post, you can go back to the next post. You know what I mean? It'll keep going through, um, and it'll tell you whether or not you're good or not. So, I'm sorry, I'm breastfeeding my son. I figured I'd spare you guys the boot shot. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Yeah, so just, you and you don't get shadow banned for, like, life. You just, like, you get a post-shadow ban sort of thing. That is so cool. I'm, like, on it right now. I'm like, am I shadow banned? Because I'm not getting any followers lately. Yeah, that could be why. Oh, my God. But it could, you might not be shadow banned for your last post, but you might be shadow banned, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, two huh. posts before. That is so funny. Well, anyway. Anyway, sorry. That, that yeah. No, this is good info. This is what we do. We help each other out. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> Jen, I sent you that video Jen did on it because she had a huge issue. Um, what, what other questions do you guys have about sort of like failing forward and um some of the stuff candace does in order to ensure success maybe you can also ask her about shift shop i don't know no one has anything i have a question i guess it's not really it's more on like the live videos because i've been wanting to do more videos but i struggle so much on what to go live with and i feel like it's so hit or miss like I signed up for an Ipsy subscription, so I like unboxed my Ipsy makeup bag, and that was okay, but then I went live for something else, and 
Uh, nobody watched it. Like, I'm really struggling with what to go live with. Okay. So, you ever drive around in your car and you're like thinking of something, you're like all fired up, and you're like, that's when you need to go live. <laughs> okay. I'm dead serious. If you check out my Facebook page, my videos, I'm always in my car because I'll be driving and I think about, oh, that person didn't buy something. And now, and, and I'll do like a video on something that has to do with that, you know, uh, or, you know, people that say, oh, I can't, like I did a video the other day about people that say, oh, I can't do that. I can't. Well, no, you can, you're just not doing it. So you have to just think about if you'll get inspired, if you're listening to PD in your car, you'll be inspired to talk about something. So whether it's, PD will be your inspiration, number one. Number two, objections that you get from people. So if you just got shot down, I mean, don't like, don't like go on a tangent, but like make sure it's, you're saying the right thing. Or if it's post-workout, that's another time when like you're feeling like all screwed up and you're like, that was the best workout. I did think I could get through it, blah, blah, blah. You know, it makes me think about how, you know, everything's a struggle and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So I think between your coaching life and objections, you know, even talking about Shakeology, stuff like that. Like if you're you know, immersing yourself in the culture, you'll, you'll have inspiration, you know? Yeah. You can make like a list of objections you get, like, cause I don't know about you, but oh, I... Oh, wait, what? You get told no? Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be like... Um, so, yeah, like, I did a video the other day about, maybe, like, two weeks ago, about how people tell me, like, oh, I can't lose weight, but, like, I did it on, like, how nutrition is really 80% of, of weight loss, you know? And... I, I get better traction when I talk about my exploding thyroid and like random stuff that people want to, I don't know, they're more interested, they're more interested in being nosy, but it's important, I think, to like get that stuff off your chest. It's like, it's good for your audience, but it's also sometimes good for me, like, it's like therapy. Yeah, <laughs> to be like people stop complaining you're not losing any weight if you're eating mcdonald's like i don't care that you went for a run that's not really what i say in my video but candace is 100 percent right objections are a great thing to go live about but that ipsy box is really cool too like i did a video maybe about a month ago about my formula maker it's like a keurig but it's for baby formula and I got so many views. I think I got a couple, th maybe 3,000 views or something. So also, too, to keep people... Oh, and another thing I want to say about your live videos is always make sure that the title is something catchy. Yeah, that's what I'm working on that. You know, it's going to be something that it comes up and people go, oh, what? Like, and, and Shaleen does this in her emails. She'll be like, you're never going to believe this. And I'll be like... Pfft what now I'm like opening up the email like what does she have to tell me you know so that's another thing too okay thanks you're welcome that was good yeah I know I like that anyone else have a question I've got nothing you have like the brain here for you I have a, a question about, um, so like liking and commenting or private messaging those likes and comments that you get and sort of starting the conversation and checking in. I am struggling in like taking that to the next step, right? So like talking about life and catching up, but then moving it so that it becomes something more than just that like nice exchange. And so any tips on how to make that transition. <laughs> well, sometimes it's not and you just have to be okay with that. Yeah. You know, like I message plenty of people and be like, Oh, I just want to catch up and it never goes anywhere, but you planted a seed. So you have to always look at those conversations that don't go anywhere is if I'm being awesome and sharing my journey on Facebook <laughs> and in a couple weeks when they're feeling down on themselves, they'll reach out to me. Okay. Um, and what was the other thing too? But, you know, if you're, 
I mean, I know that you're probably pretty attentive to whether they're going to talk about something like, oh, I ate so much at the barbecue this weekend. And you're like, yeah, I just started the three day refresh. You know, even if you didn't just say, you did. <laughs> you know? um, yeah. but you just have, if sometimes conversations aren't going to go that way and that's okay. okay. Yeah, no, I just want to just, if I'm missing something or, but, um, that so was those just, are your planted seeds. That's yeah. Okay. And Casey, you can always send me conversations and be like, Hey, I'm stuck on this, Jillian. I don't know where to go with this. And I may tell you what Candace just said, which is like, okay, you're good. Just leave it. Or like, this is a really good way to transition. Because we okay. have a free group, right? And Candace is huge on free groups. Um, so you don't ever have to feel like, oh, I have to sell them something. You know, you can just feel like, oh, hey, I'm running this free, you know, walk and water challenge or something like that. And um, do you want to join us, you know? Okay. I'll send you one of the conversations because I did that. We had this great exchange and I did that. And then there was nothing after that. So it's like, is that over? Do I follow up? Like, but I'll send it to you. And, and like the other thing is, you know, if you open that door, like just reiterating, because Candace is like awesome and she already said this, but um, if you open that door, like then they're more comfortable coming to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, you know, if you never have spoken to them, they may never reach out to you. But if you speak to them and then like, you know, a year down the road, they need help. They are more comfortable because you started the conference. Like sometimes I'll wish someone a happy birthday and they'll be like, oh my God, I need Shakeology. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> so true. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank That's you. Another thing too, make sure you're wishing people happy birthday every day. Yeah. In message, not on their wall. Yep. Yep. Anything else, guys? Quiet tonight. Everyone asleep? I have a question about shift. I always say it wrong, so I don't know how I'm going to promote it, but shift shop. Um, I, am, I always fail at promoting new programs. What are you, either Jillian or Casey, what are you guys planning on doing to promote this for the people that haven't been able to do it prior to it coming out? So what you should be doing is sharing results of people and then messaging all those people, having some type of, like, so I'm going to actually be going over this with my team next week because right now I'm doing a seven-day group. So I, I'm testing it out right now and then I'm going to share it with my team and I want them to duplicate it. So the, the, what you should do is have a group, some type of like, you know, an info group or, you know, maybe you team up with a bunch of coaches and you just start, you know, peppering people into this group and sharing a little bit about the program, sharing before and after photos, um, you know, whatever. So what I'm doing in my group right now is I have, I offered, because we're not allowed to share the entire meal plan, but we're allowed to share what our meal plan was for week one. So what I did was I boosted a post on my like page, but don't, you don't think that this is the only way you can do this. So I boosted a post on my like page with a Wufu document that people can fill out the form and join my free shift shop group, shift shop group. <laughs> Let's just say it. Cause I feel like if I don't just say it, I'm going to say it accidentally. So for my free group. Now on my light, on my personal page, when I share results, whether they're mine, my husband's, another person, I go in and I see who's in that group and I say, you know, thank you so much for your blah, blah, blah. You know, we're so excited that we're part of this test group. We have a private group going on that we're going to like learn about the program, get people pumped up before it releases. Are you interested to join? And then yeah, sure. Some people don't fill out the form, but if they do, they fill out the doc. Once they fill out the doc, they go right into the challenge group, which you can do that from the form. So now they're all in the group. So now I've got like a hundred people in the group. So I just keep peppering my journey each day in this group, but 
it doesn't mean that you can't pepper other people's journey in the group, you know? So if Dave McLean is posting that he lost 30 pounds, you should be sharing that. You know, if Natalie Bailey is sharing her delicious meal from lunchtime, you could share Natalie's lunch and say, check this amazing lunch out. Um, you know, there's so many things that you can do to share other people. That's what we do as coaches is we, we share progress of our challengers or of our, you know, our own coaches that we're trying to raise up. You can do the same thing. Um, when there's the sneak peek, you should be doing your video. You should be like going live, doing two minutes of the workout or whatever, and then talking about it after, you know, just keep talking about it. And, um, you know, go <clears throat> over coach database, see who's done a si insanity asylum before insanity T25, you know, who's been an athlete growing up who used to be an athlete. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Hey, this is great program coming out really taps into that athlete. You know, are you interested in joining? And another thing guys that I'm sure you're all going to learn at some point, you absolutely 150% need to be on the performance line for this program. It is very, very intense. Anyone can do it. We have people in the group that are over 300 pounds. Anyone can do the program. There is a modifier. However, you need to fuel your body. Shakeology is not enough. You're going to need recover. You're going to need energize. You're going to need hydrate. I know that's one that's like overlooked because people are like, oh, I drink water. It's not even the same. This morning, I didn't drink it and I was dying. I'm like, there's no way I'm never not drinking recover. And then according to the meal plan, you know, you have a meal plan, but you're allowed recover every day and recover is 20 grams of protein. So that's going to keep you fuller longer and help your muscles repair. So it's really important that those three things, because that's a huge volume boost too. So you want to make sure that everyone and their mother is buying performance line stuff. So um, I hope that answered some of your questions. It did, yes, thank you. And is the meal plan relatively easy? Like 21 Day Fix, I think, is just super easy for people, but... Um, I don't... I think it's very simple. It's not 21 Day Fix, so don't be fooled by the fact that there's color codes because the foods are very different. Okay. And, um, you know, what you're allotted each day, like, the structure is very different. Like, I've done 21 Day Fix... And I did not have these results in one week. Like the results from this in one week between the 25 minute workouts and this program, I was like blown away. I am blown away because I had a baby 10 months ago and I thought I was like doing fairly well in my postpartum journey until I took that before photo and I was like, all right, I got a long way to go. And I kept telling myself during the 21 days, I'm like, Oh, I'm so pissed I wasn't in better shape to do this. And now I'm like, like, arms. I just can't even believe that these are my arms. I have abs, like my butt's lifted. In 21 days, I, I don't know. I know I sound like an infomercial right now, but it's that big of a deal. Like, this, this program is going to change people. And they are going to be screaming Beachbody through the streets after this program. Like, I feel like the business is just going to explode after this because people are going to get really good results. And you guys, um, there is, I uploaded like 70 before and afters that I've seen come through my Facebook feed into an album on our team page. Um, you guys are all, those have all been publicly posted. They didn't come from like a secret source. <laughs> you guys can, can use them freely. They're all properly tagged and stuff. So people just don't like erase anyone's tag, please, off of them. Cause we don't want the Plexus people being like, Look what this did, um, one wrap or whatever. So just leave everyone's tags on there, but you guys are welcome to always use that stuff. I used one, I think last night. So um, don't feel like you can't. And, and Andrea, like, that's how you would, like Candace said, pepper it in without being a part of the test group. I've always done well with lunches and I've never, well, 
I was supposed to be in a test group, but I've never actually completed a test group. So you can definitely do it without it. Yep. So I have one, I have one more question if we still have time. Sure. Um, so I know this isn't really the topic of your call. So I guess if you're like, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. That's fine. What do you do? Obviously you're sitting at 12 star and you move through um, your ranks pretty quickly. What are you doing for recruitment? How are you moving? Are you moving, you know, challengers to coaches? Are you cold messaging coaches? Like how are you getting people who want to really work that business? like true leaders, not just discount coaches. Okay. So I really believe that like attracts like, and my enthusiasm brings on enthusiastic people. So they tend to throw out the vibe that I throw out. So they're as equally excited and, and pumped up as I am, you know? So um, I just, I tell everybody about coaching when they get that challenge pack. I say, you know, you can sign up as a discount coach. You can earn free shakes if that even interests you. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. I always throw it out there because why not? You ne you are like the worst, not you, but we, <laughs> we are like the worst predictors of who is going to be a, like a good coach and who isn't. So it's important to always just drop it out there. And if, they're, if they don't want it, it's fine, but you put it out there. And, you know, I bring everybody on. They're like, yeah, I want to earn free shakes. So I'm like, right away, boom, let's put a list of people together, message these people. They go into my coach training. We talk about scripts. Um, I give them a checklist of what to do every day. Um, it, you know, the, the thing is, is it's really a numbers game. You have to bring in at least three to five coaches a month. You know, a three to five to build, like, a sustainable business where, because once again, it's a numbers game, like one in 10 is going to crush it. So if you're bringing in three to five a month, you might not get that one that's going to crush it for like a couple months. So the more you bring in, you know, that's why it's like SD 10 is minimum with coaches. Um, and let me think what else. I mean, I've been a coach for four and a half years. So my first coaches were my best, my first diamonds was my best friend and a girl I went to high school with. Then it was a girl that I used to go to clubs with back in the day. It was new mother. And then I got my husband to diamonds. That's four. Um, girls I went to college with, you know, free cut. I have free customer. Actually, she's on the call right now. Um, she was one of my diamonds and another, like this, so a lot of warm market people, but once again, it's the enthusiasm, you know, I show up every day, like they know I'm not going anywhere. I'm invested. I'm, you know, it's, I think it's the, really the enthusiasm. If you're enthusiastic, they want more of what you have. They try and put that out and, you know, yep. <laughs> I think too, like a good point was a lot of Candace said a lot of these people were warm market people in the beginning, Candace. Mm -hmm. And I think, I don't know, I know a lot of you guys have said this and I've said this too. And Dana's a very good example of this. Um, I'm nervous to message warm market people. It's much harder for me than <clears throat> sending like some Instagram messages. Like you said, like, Oh, thanks for liking my post. Are you on a health and fitness journey too? That's, really easy for me um but dana was a bridesmaid in my wedding and like my best friend and i never asked her she had to ask me for shakeology for her birthday that's how she got started <laughs> so don't like don't like the people that you want to share this with don't be embarrassed because candace just just told us like her first you know five diamonds were friends and family she knew before this she it sounds like anyway yep. actually another thing too that i did in the beginning is i shared a lot of other coaches success stories so i used to share a lot about lindsay matway jessica vandenberg bob lacito i would share things like the 
husbands being retired from work and all of these things because I didn't have that success, but I wanted people to see that it was out there and there was a possibility and that I was inspired by it. So it's really good to share the financial success of other coaches with the income disclaimer as well. That's good. I don't do that. That's a good idea. Okay. Anything else, guys? No? All right. Let everyone go to bed. All right. Well, Candace, thank you for joining us. Good luck with how many rounds of shift shop are you doing? Uh, two. Two is enough. <laughs> two okay I, round is tough i'm like oh my god i don't know on the, you start it over right you start week one no it's um so there's actually a second round so oh. it's different than the first round it's like it's new it's new workouts and everything oh wow okay yeah. yeah, I tried the one they sent the elite coaches and I was surprisingly able to do it. I had to modify because I'm six months pregnant, but um, I can't imagine doing it pregnant. It, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be like not easy, but I finished it and I was okay. And I just didn't jump because then I'd pee my pants if I jump. So, um, but my husband's going to do it when it comes out because I'm obviously not going for the same, the same kind of results. So. Yeah. Right. Um, your husband's doing it too, right? Yep. Does he like it? Loves it. Because it's, yeah. it's very, like, athlete-based, you know? It's like, I feel like you're, like, training for the NFL. It's awesome. Hey. I love Who's it. going into the NFL, any of y'all? Yeah. yeah. It's so awesome. And then Chris Downing is, like, I don't know if you guys have heard him speak yet. My God, like this is not, he is not <laughs> another trainer. This is like, you, know, you ever heard of um, E.T., the hip hop preacher? Okay, go on. I want all of you guys, as soon as you're done with this, to go on YouTube and watch. It's Eric Thomas and the video is Michigan State. You're going to be like, what is this? LSU, Michigan State. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, about, it's called 10 seconds. It's like 10 seconds left, last 10 seconds. It is so awesome. Like, you're going to cry. That's how Chris Downing is, except he's a trainer. Like, he is not Autumn. He is not Sagi. He is, he, this, he is a different breed. And he's easy on the eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah throw that out there Amen. um all right awesome well thank you thank you thank you i know that we got like a little bit off topic but i thought we got some really great shared information and it's always good to brainstorm so yeah thanks for having me guys I appreciate it have, have a great week all right talk to you later guys bye bye